Hi guys, this is the second part of the video on how to set up your device, your formal device for success, step-by-step -step for success in 2025. In this video, we're going to take a look at setting up the developer options, the audio options, and other significant options to make your device run smoothly. Let's jump right into this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up as I try to bring this content to you so you can learn how to eliminate some of the things or excuses to think something is too hard. All right, so let's go right into it. Now that we have um, the application connected, the device connected, and some of the settings handled in My TV Online 2 or 3, we're gonna go down to the settings cog wheel on your homepage on this My TV Online 2 and press the OK button. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna land on network and internet. So what I'm gonna do is click on network and internet, and you can see that I'm connected by ethernet here. I am connected. So I'm not gonna change any of the proxy settings. The IP settings should always, under unless you find, something, find out something different or someone tells you, I have mine set up on DHCP, not on static. I know some things or folks have gone to the support group, but my success always comes when D, on DHCP, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Some of the advanced options, now you have a private domain name server um, or system. You can, I have it on automatic, it's by default. If you were gonna choose a different host name, you could either go to Cloudflare, you could go to DNS Google, you can go to quad9, dns.quad9.net or manual input if you like to do it that way, if you have a host name or a DNS provider. Now, since you selected the automatic or you selected to choose one, uh, you should do some research, even though the most popular is Cloudflare. Second is Google. It's been around a very, very long time, 488888, and this is 1.1.1.1. But if you don't want to do that, just leave it on automatic and you should be good to go. The next step, we're going to go to uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. We don't need that at all. And then we're going to go back up here and hit the back button here. Press OK. I'll press the back button. And then we're going to go to device preferences and press OK. From here, we're going to go to about. And then we're going to go all the way down to the build and press it eight times. It says, now you're a developer. This is opening up developer options. We're going to hit the back button. And then you should also see now that you have developer options open. You want to highlight that and press OK. All right. So this has been enabled. You can leave a screen. will never sleep while charging. There's nothing to charge here. It's not a phone. I, I, you can turn the picture color mode if you like. This is a really good one for me. This enhances the colors uh, and more vibrant when you're watching uh, some streams or video streams. I have mine on at all times, but if you don't have the right TV, you should really look at some of those settings. So we're going to leave it off for the normal person. I usually do USB debugging because I like going from different, like my PC or just a different phone. So I turn that on if I want a debug mode when I'm doing the USB and it's connected. As I go on down, we're going to Go on down. Now, I'm going to do a video on what some of these, a lot of these things mean uh, when you see developer options. But for now, I'm just going to go down and we want to get to the window animation scale. I've learned that these three here will make the menu snap. So it's not laggy going from menu to menu. So we're going to turn this scale down to 0.5. We're going to turn the transition animation scale to 0.5 and the animator duration scale. 2.5 all right that has brought me the most success and i learned that from troy point and others and it really works a lot as we continue to go down i'm not going to mess with the gpu at this moment that's a different thing in the other video i will talk about the force 4x msaa really important and so i'm going to go down to the very bottom here and i want to force activity or force allow apps on external make any app eligible to be written to an external storage. I definitely want that on there. And don't forget, if you go down here to the others, you could check different ones here. So you got a file system I'm not gonna check, 
I don't need to reset networks and all of that. You want to set your audio. You can definitely check your different audio settings. Playback effect is off. I don't turn anything of this on because I don't have a lot of surround sound. I'm leaving everything, the audio, the way it is. I like it on automatic. And then also on the video, your peak luminance, leave it at level four unless you've been told differently. And I never touch these as they're really, really don't. Uh, if I don't know what they are, I'll leave them alone, but they're good to go. Okay. So you've gotten your developer options set up. The next thing you want to do is definitely go to some of the, the audio settings and, and different things like that. So this is the first, the next part we're going to go to is the HDMI CEC. I think this is really good. This allows the TV to turn on when you turn off the remote control, when you turn off the device with the remote, your TV will go off. I turn all these on, all of these on because I want it to, I want it to turn off the TV when it goes to sleep. I want it to wake up when I power on and off and I want to have HDMI control. That's very important. Once the last thing we're going to look at is the display. Okay. So you want the HDR output on adaptive. Okay. You want it to adapt to what you have. You see what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and keep this right here. Keep that setting as adaptive. I definitely want that on. Your screen resolution, it'll go automatic. You want to leave that on. And you'll see when I did this right here, look at the color space settings. We did that in developer options, which is awesome. Screen position, you can zoom in at 100% or you can zoom out and make it depending on where you are. I usually put it 90 to 95. And that is it. This is some of the key things that you're going to want to do because it makes everything very, see how smooth that was, how snappy that is, going from the menus. Those little tips and tricks will help you out a lot. So this is one of the best videos. Stop it, restart it, and get it set up. I think you're going to absolutely love the way your device runs, especially these formulas, if you see and use some of the things I'm saying. Now, for instance, as I close out this video, if you find something else that's better, please share it in the description of the video below in the comments below so we can all learn. Until then, we'll see you in the next video. And in video number three, we're going to close out this whole series with looking at the market and some of the apps in there and really changing our launcher settings to include the background. We'll see you soon.